Hey y'all. Welcome back to a new Vlizzy Vlizz Op. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Jermaine. If you're new here, my name is Jermaine. And if you're returning, what's up? Okay, so Lisette Day, I'm going to the used car dealership to pay my last little monies, okay? I was gonna pay everything then, the first day that I was there, the first and last, whatever. However, I had to report fraud. I actually left this out of the car rant, which I, I think I should have put in there, but I had to report fraud on my account. So my money was frozen and it was just, that was another thing, that was another thing. But we're here now, so I'm gonna go pay the rest of my down payment. I need to, I really wanna see if I can get a non-slip mat for this area here, because I feel like the camera can stay there. I just need like a small non-slip mat. I need to go to the beauty supply store because I need some more mascara. Oh, there's one more thing I needed to do. Oh, Pauline. I need to go and get some um some different, what is go? You know what? I'm not about to play with this thing today. I'm really, really not. I need to go get some more scents for the car because these stink. I don't know what this scent is. I think it's, one is Hawaiian, the other one is linen and they both smell like crap. Like I don't know what it is and I just don't like the smell so I'm gonna go to the store and get some stuff for that also oh yeah Pauline <laughs> y'all want to check engine light came on I'm like girl 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 you already crying and whining I just don't understand like Pauline Pauline you ain't supposed to be giving me no trouble <laughs> but I did buy one of these things off Amazon. I figured I would go to AutoZone and just get it checked out, but I'm like, I have a used car. I need this. So if you don't know what this is, this is a little thing that you plug into your car and it tells you what's wrong when the check engine light comes on. $25, girl. <laughs> go get it, just go get it. And then you can look up the codes. I looked up the code that it gave me. I guess I can plug it in and show you guys. Um, I looked up the code that it gave me and it was the O2 sensor, so. I need to go buy some of those. Okay, so you just plug it up. There's a little tiny thing. I don't know if you guys can see me out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is it gonna show? Is it too dark? Anyway, it says linking to vehicle. You press DTC. I don't know what that means. Let me look. <laughs> Um, I just knew I needed one of these. It's a car diagnostic tool. Uh, I got the Moto Power brand. So, yeah. So it says P0138 O2 sensor circuit high voltage bank one sensor two. Oh, Whatever. That <laughs> um, so I just need to go probably go to AutoZone or something and see if I don't know how many I need. I don't know if it's one, two, seven, eight. <laughs> So it pretty much tells you like everything. Uh, DTC means diagnostic trouble codes. Okay, listen, we're keeping this manual. And I also need to order um, like an emergency roadside kit. I realized like I need one of those bad. So I'll grab one of those. My plan was to go and get my Nevada license and register this vehicle. But let me tell you something about, let me tell you something about the little used car dealer. You need the EDRS number because I was going to try to do half of it online, which is register, register the vehicle online. But I needed the EDRS number, whatever the hell that is. So I called them and I'm like, hey, I need the EDRS number because they said the bank and stuff like that, everything has to be settled before they can give me that. And I'm like, okay, cool. The bank did the welcome call. We got everything set up. Everything's all good. I got the welcome letter in the mail. Called them. Had to call them three times because their phone kept going to voicemail third time it rang I said oh okay yeah then they answered and I'm like hey I need the EDRS number he's like oh you're looking for the EDRS number and I'm like yes so I can register the vehicle the hell I don't have time to play with y'all and he's like oh let me go see if it's ready and I'm like okay do you know I sat on the phone for almost 10 minutes this is before boarding a flight so I ended up just hanging up calling back four times nobody answered the phone I said I'm so sick of y'all like what's What's tea? You know what I'm saying? What's the problem? What is the problem? So I'm gonna go up in there today, give them their little money. You know, black folk, give them a little money I owe them. 
Let me stop. Pay my pay my my dues, and I want my little EDRS number, whatever the hell that is. Like, why why are y'all making this so hard for me? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't like that. Because my plan was, it's my only day off for the next three weeks. My plan was to get up, go straight to the DMV, be there as soon as they open, get all that handled, go to the used car dealership, pay them the money, go run my errands, come back, change, and go to work. Like, why am I still looking at this? You know what? <laughs> I can't. So anyway, this is a very good tool for you to have in your car. Whether you have a used car or not, it's very cheap. So you don't have to worry about going to AutoZone. You can't see it, but whatever. You don't have to worry about going to AutoZone every single time something comes up. Um, and I just figured this would be a good thing to have, either, even for like family and friends and stuff like that. So yeah, why? And then here's the thing. He never called me back. He never left a message. He never said, hey, here's the ERS number. Here's an email. Nothing. like. I'm so I'm so ready to be done with it and like I really was gonna leave a review but honestly Pissing me off so bad. I'm probably not <laughs> I'm not the type to leave like a nasty Review unless it's well needed and it's like critical um, Advice, I don't know. Maybe I should Constructive criticism is what I was trying to say. Maybe I should Maybe I should because like but I don't want to do it from like a frustrated place so, like I said, I'm going to wait. They really wanted a good review. And honestly, I guess the worst thing I can give them right now is no review at all. <laughs> because I'm not going to leave a bad review just because they're annoying as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they're rude. It's not like they're mean or nasty. They're just annoying. <laughs> as if, you know, like, please just let me do my thought fizzle. Anyway. I'm going to head out, guys, and I will catch you guys a little bit later because we got errands to run. And hopefully somebody picks up my trip tomorrow so I can pick up something better. Um, I'm going to Cancun, allegedly, but probably not. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I've never been to Cancun. I went to, like, go through Cancun to get to Tulum, but I've actually never been to Cancun, like, to chill for a day. So, y'all know we be sampling cities out here in these We'll say streets where we fly so in the sky. <laughs> Anywho, bye. Hi guys. Let me turn this off. How do we turn it off? So guess what I just noticed about Pauline? Guess what I just noticed about a car that I just bought in Vegas. <laughs> the AC don't work. <laughs> Messing around with AC because I'm like, all right, my forehead getting a little hot. <laughs> Let's see what it's doing. It ain't doing. <laughs> it ain't doing. Anyway, I dropped off the monies. She immediately handed me the ER EDRS, whatever. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, is it because I didn't finish paying the down payment? If that was the case, y'all could have just told me, oh, hey, you have to pay the extra thousand um, and we'll give you the EDRS. That's all y'all have to say. You don't have to act funny. You don't have to act stupid because I didn't even have to ask for it. She was like, oh yeah, let me go get your EDRS. I'm like, y'all, y'all are just... The communication... What? The communication is just poo-poo. I can't, like... First of all, <laughs> I just want to give you guys an update. <laughs> Pauline, it's going to be hot and Pauline, Lord of mercy. Y'all better be seeing me. Uh -uh, I'm going to be in the house all summer, in the house and at work. Don't, don't. Don't like it. Just why the car was so cheap. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Cause I'm gonna pay it off, and I'm gonna give it right back to somebody else, <laughs> like Carmax or something. Not like you know an actual person, cause maybe they can fix all the things. But like, what do you mean? There's no cold air. There's air. It's just all that, all that power all that power for it to not even be cold that is that is just first of all that's rude as hell okay can we start there like i could see if i lived in like minneapolis or new york somewhere where it gets hot but not like crazy hot girl we talking triple digits and y'all trying to sell cars that don't have ac 
That should be illegal. That should be illegal. They gotta judge you. What well, makes say I should have had to lock your ass up? <laughs> anyway, let me stop yelling into the camera chat. Let me go ahead and do what I gotta do so I can be where I gotta be. Hey, <laughs> also, I'm Biggity back. Uh, there are some characters in Vegas. Do you hear me? Like, characters. I can't even, I ain't even gonna talk about that. I ain't gonna talk about that later. <laughs> First of all, there's a special place in hell for the people that sold me this car with no AC. Like, Special place in hell. Special place. I mean, like, what's your name on it? <laughs> First, middle, and last name is a place for y'all. All three of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm enjoying it right now because it's cool outside. You know what I'm saying? It's 61 degrees. Right. Exactly. I'm going to head to AutoZone real quick and see if they can kind of, like, tell me why. I would say Pet Boys, but I feel like... Not too far away. I drove all the way out here to go to this specific Target. Plus, this Target has the cherry limeade. This is the best poppy drink ever. I've tried pretty much all of them except for grape because I'm just not a grape girl, sorry. Um, but yeah, and then I, Coco Paradise comes in a room spray. All right, Wait, all right. <laughs> comes in a room spray, so you know what I'm saying way better and it'll probably last longer yeah this ac thing really just kind of ticked me off even more and honestly every single time something else comes up with this car i just laugh like i have to laugh there's no other way i'll be able to <laughs> process all the nonsense that i've had to deal with thus far thus far <laughs> i also got a mat for the camera I'm thinking it'll stay. I hope it does. I'm not sure, but it's kind of blocking my uh, my little view of the radio stations and stuff. Head on over to AutoZone. I'll probably go to the beauty supply store another day because I really need to get back home and just kind of prepare myself mentally to go back to the MoFo airport. Plus, I kind of want to go early so I can upload next week's vlog on the airport Wi-Fi. Because y'all know, and I've been telling y'all, that airport Wi-Fi is phenomenal. And I really just don't want to rush. Like, I'm so tired of, like I said, I'm tired of being the runner. I'm tired of running to the gates. I really am. I really am. Like, I ran last night all the way to Alaska Gates with my coworker, because we both live here. Ran. Y'all, let me tell you. Oh, I didn't even tell you what my ancestors did. <laughs> Mine and hers. You know what I'm saying? Both ours. <laughs> so, we were supposed to release at, like, 9:45, and there was a 9:30 flight to las vegas on alaska right of course we get in like 9 20 and they had delayed the flight until 10 on our way back to seattle but then when we got when we landed it was 9 56 and we're like oh man we're probably not gonna make it we still deplaning at like 9 35 still deplaning people taking their sweet pressure time we land and it's 9.56 departure. And we're like, oh man. And then y'all, there's a mechanical. And they had to switch planes and switch gates. So everybody, I don't know if people were, I'm pretty sure people had boarded already because they did it last minute. So everybody had to deep plane, to my knowledge, and literally go to, take a train to go to the other gates that they have. So the new departure was 10.20. We got our butts on that plane. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just felt so good. I mean, I got in at one o'clock last night, but that's better than sleeping in the lounge and catching the six o'clock or the seven o'clock flight. So I was just so happy. I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, Zeus, Devante Christ. So we love it, yo, we do. <laughs> it is 201. Oh, snap, Chaz, to I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all tripping. Who is y'all? I have no idea. I'm excited. Like I said, I've never been to Cancun. Really, really excited about that. The hotel looks really cute. It's right on the beach. I already have my bathing suit picked out. It's the yellow one. <laughs> Anywho, oh 
gonna say, oh, I did not drive past this already. Uh-uh, Mr. Jeep, cause you ain't finna be, you ain't finna be speeding up when I'm trying to get over my little blinker. I hate people do that. You see me trying to get over, I have my blinker on, I'm professional, you know what I'm saying? And you trying to speed up, no, act. <laughs> not having a car for so long and remembering all the nonsense that people do and how people drive, y'all, last night, Last night, this huge ass whole suburban, okay? I love black people be like, emphasize something like the whole suburban, not half of it, the whole suburban, y'all. <laughs> Literally veered off and we thought she, I don't know who we is, me and my edges, thought that she was just pulling over on the highway. This lady, y'all, drove, almost drove her car into the freaking side of the highway, like the shoulder part, the wall, whatever that's called, I don't know. And I was like, oh my God, y'all know me, I had to speed up. I was like, uh, I need to get away from her because uh, I ain't got the time, you know what I ain't got the time. That was scary, I was like, oh my God, and she like last minute swerved back and I don't know what she was doing, you know, I had to look look at it when I make sure she was all right, ain't nothing wrong. Because you know, people always think it's like, oh, she's irresponsible, old drunk driver or something like that, but like, you never know what could be going on in that car. You never know like if she's having a seizure, you just don't know. like. So I didn't you know I peeked before I sped my little booty butt off. I peeped in there and she looked like she was okay. So I don't know what was going on. I just but she crossed like two lanes of traffic and like the people behind her kind of like swerved out of the way too. Oh sh am I in the wrong? Oh Lord, I am so sorry. <gasps> oh, let me get up out of there. Y'all, I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I feel, no, I'm not. No, I'm in the right lane. I'm in the right lane. Okay, that's confusing because I was like, why is everybody just looking at me? No, I was in the right lane. Okay. You know when you like get in the middle of the the big lanes of traffic or whatever? No, I was in the right lane. Fooling around with y'all on the camera. Can't say on the phone, child. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I hope that lady is okay wherever she at, child. Because that was scary. And everybody just kind of like got out of her way. But, and then I was watching her behind me. Um, oh yeah, we gonna reverse park in this thing, baby. I was watching her behind me to make sure she didn't swerve again. Like, what was I gonna do about it? I don't know, but you know, I had to be nosy. And she was driving fine, so I was like, okay, well, let me get her. I took the next exit off. I was like, no ma'am, I don't like drama, I don't like paperwork, I gotta go. Anywho, let me go into this auto zone real quick, see what they talking about. All right, so he was absolutely zero help. <laughs> he just literally just told me to go get it checked out. <laughs> and I knew that I was gonna do it anyway, but like, I thought maybe they, I don't know what I thought they did here. But anyway, so now I gotta make another appointment. You know what, let me just call, let me call the pep of the boy, honestly, because he was like, well, if, they just did a 120 point inspection and didn't see anything wrong with it. Maybe you just need some Freon. And I'm like, I hope that's all it is. <laughs> Thank you for calling Pet Boys. Chris speaking. Now I can help you. Hey, Chris, this is Jermaine. I did a 120 point inspection with you guys a couple weeks ago. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I have a question. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so my ac is not blowing cold do you think maybe it's just freon that's needed or is that something that would have came up on the this huh that's one of the possibilities yeah because i feel yeah, like so we can take a look at it okay it would have came up on the inspection right if it was something different no so if, if the ac is working at that we don't get into diagnostics in the inspection that's a visual oh uh, okay yeah Okay, will it cost me for you? Of the AC system. Okay, is that something that'll cost me today? Or is that something you guys it can just... cost you when you get ready to do it. I can't get you in for it today. I can get you in tomorrow morning. Well, I'll be in Cancun, Chris. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely yeah. deal with Cancun. Yeah. Enjoy Cancun. Come see us when you come back and we'll check your AC. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Baby, if they charge me... To check my AC and all it needed was some mofo Freon, $5 Freon? I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. Who want to be my car bae? Okay, who knows about cars that want to come and talk to Pauline? 
Okay, talk to her. Cause I can't do this. Too cute for this shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call my landlord. <laughs> you know anybody that know anything about cars? <laughs> Cause I'm just not. I just, I just can't. Mm -mm. Y'all not finna get me. <laughs> Y'all just not finna get me today. Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> Probably at work. <laughs> Let me take my ass home. Oh, brother. They gonna charge me an arm and a leg. I might as well just ride around in a hot vehicle. Really should. Come, baby. Y'all not finna get me. I'm sick of pet boys. We don't do diagnostics. Well, what do you do? What do you do? It's a hundred and twenty point inspection. What else? What are y'all not doing? Clearly not checking the AC. It's Vegas. That should be included. I gotta get it out, y'all, because I can't yell at work. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. It's just not what I do. But I gotta get it out because all of this is stupid. Like, why is that not part of the inspection in a hot ass city like Vegas? I just don't get it. And I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm trying to get around not using the maps as much as possible, but I really don't have the time to get lost right now. Like, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I really do. I could never write my wrongs unless I write it.